Canva newsletter tutorial, how to create a newsletter with Canva. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a newsletter with canva.com. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is how do you sign up? Well, you can just sign up using your Gmail account or your Facebook account on Canva. It's very simple and easy. And once you have logged in to your account and created your account, this is going to be your basic dashboard. Now, to start off our video, we're going to start by searching for templates for newsletters. Now, if you just search for newsletter over here in the search bar, you're going to find that Canva has several different templates for newsletters. And you can start off by customizing a template that is already here. So you can see there are many different templates and you can select the kind of theme you want and the style you want for your template and start customizing it by like that. Or you can start off from scratch. So so just to give you guys an estimate of what kind of templates you're going to see, you can see over here, like these are some of the free templates you're going to find on Canva. And you can see some of these are paid only templates. Some of these are pro templates. So if you're subscribed to the pro version of Canva, you can access these, but some of them are also available for free. So you can see that you can find any kind of template, any walk of life. So that's one thing that will help you in your starting off process because it's going to be pretty simple and easy when you start. So just to show you guys, I'll open up this template and I'll show you guys what a pre-made template on Canva is going to look like for free. So you can see this newsletter has two pages. It's pretty nice and it has a few text blocks. It has a nice image section and then they have text and another little block. So overall, it's a pretty decent template. You can just cut on the text and just type your own text. So if you're writing a style blog or a style newsletter, you can add your own text and customize it like that. So you will get the overall look of the template, but you're going to have your own content. But for this video, we're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own newsletter for free using Canva. So you're just going to click on create a blank newsletter over here and let's just decide what kind of newsletter are we looking to create. I want to create a winter fashion newsletter so winter fashion newsletter for 2021 so for that what i'm going to do so once you have opened up your empty little page you're going to start off by designing the page so let's say we are doing a winter fashion newsletter so first off i'm going to design the borders of this page and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for design over on the elements section so you're going to click on elements and then you're going to search for design and let's say i want to look for some kind of border for my page and I'm just going to look for something that is symmetrical and that will look good. And you want to go into the graphic section. You're not going to look in the photo section. Look in the graphic section. And you're just going to search for something that is going to fit with your brand, fit with the overall aesthetic of your brand. So I'm just going to keep on scrolling until I find something that I like. And I really actually like this design. And what you can do is you can... And what you can do is you can take it down, take the size down... Or you can do another very nice trick that I like to do is first, I'm just going to zoom out of the page to give you guys a full view. Now, what I like to do with images like this, if I really do like a design, what I like to do is I like to add it to my page and then I like to turn up the transparency. So I like to make it a bit transparent and I like to add it to the back of my page. And this gives my newsletter a very, very beautiful look without having to add any like super invasive graphics or super invasive stuff. So you can do that as well and you can make sure that it's placed in the center of your page and then you can just click on the lock over here so this image doesn't move. If I drag anything, this image is not going to move unless I unlock it. Now, after that, I still do want some lined borders and for that, I'm just going to search for lines over here on the element section as well and you can see there are many different kind of line patterns available i'm just gonna look for something that is not too minimal but it's not too in your face as well so i'm just gonna look at take a look at this if this looks pretty good and it looks pretty decent so i'm gonna work with it i'm gonna rotate my line to 90 degrees and once i have added this line i'm just gonna click and select this line and i'm gonna do Control c and Control v so this will just copy and paste my design and I'm going to place it on the other side and then I'm going to flip it. So I'm just going to click on flip at the top and I'm going to flip this horizontally. I'm going to flip it vertically so both of these are facing each other. And now I'm just going to expand this so it fits my page correctly. And once this fits my page, you can see now I have a very nice design on my page. Now after that, what you can add is you're going to start adding your basic text. So I'm going to go onto the text section and you can add a basic heading or you can add one of their 
font combos. So I'm going to start with a heading because uh, although they have great font combos, I find that they're not very royal looking. So I want something a bit more modern or a bit more serious. I don't want anything that looks too jolly. I want something that gives a very serious vibe. So I'm going to search for win royal winter trends like this and I'm just going to resize this into one line place it over here at the center like this and now I'm just going to start customizing it so first off I'm going to search for a different font and you can see over here there is a pretty good selection of fonts available so I'm just going to check these out and see which one I like the most and I'm going to just try and look for something that fits the overall now i really like this font so i'm just gonna go with this and once you have that you can change the color of your text as well so i'm just gonna make it this gold color that my elements have over here so i like that and i'm gonna change the font again i want something a bit more out there i'll search for some more fonts and you can upload your own fonts over here as well if you don't like the fonts that are available already so you can do that if you have a certain style that you always like to go for or a certain look that you like for your newsletters. So let's say we, yeah, this looks better. So once you have decided on your font, now you're gonna add your basic headline images. So you can add your own paragraphs, fashion, whatever, whatever kind of paragraph you have for your actual text. And you're gonna add this in a smaller font. So I would reduce the font by a couple of sizes, add my text over here. And obviously you're going to add your own actual text, but I'm just going to add this as an example text. Now you can see over here, I've added some sample text. And after my sample text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my element section. I'm going to search for square over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a image section as well, but I'm going to make sure that it looks pretty transparent. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, add this little square and you can make it like a separate text box as well over here. So you can do something like this to separate some style trends and once you do that you're going to click on colors over here you're going to make it the brown color that you have the rest of your stuff and what you're going to do is you're going to click on transparency and make it a very transparent so it should be barely visible something like this and now once you have a block like this you can just do Control c and Control v and add it to the other side as well so i will have to resize this to fit two in one row but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit these over here. And now you can add the actual styles or any kind of information you want over here. Below that, you can add another text block and then you can have the closing lines. Now for the second page, you're going to follow the basic rule. So you're just going to control C and control V the back background. So this little block, the image we added initially, you're going to have to copy and paste that into your second page as well because that would really look odd if you don't have this kind of background design on your second image after you have it on your first. And once you do that, you can start designing this. So maybe you don't want the same border and the same outlay for this one. So if you want to change up the outlay, you can start off by just searching for halo on the element section, go into graphics, and then you can see a lot of different halo styles, but you're looking for something that looks more like a semicircle, and you can find one easily on the element section you're gonna have to search a bit but it's not really that hard and you can see over here that this is a very nice design so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this as my border design so i'm just going to do Control c and Control v and i'm going to copy this on both sides so just do this and this also is giving a very nice luxurious vibe and you can edit the color into the brown color that you have the rest of your document as well because this is going to give a very cohesive look if you have this brown color everywhere or you're using like a singular color scheme, it's going to help you a lot. So I'm just going to copy and paste the entire section and now I have this on the other side as well. I'm just going to fix this up, place it a bit correctly like so. And like this, I have a new kind of version of my initial page. So the initial page looks like this and the second page looks like this. And now you can decide on how you want your sectioning. So if you don't have any images, you can write a direct text block or if you want to add some more images and you want to do this a bit more in a different manner you can add one of these blocks over here so once you click on the initial image that you printed you're easily going to be able to find this kind of block and you can place your images within these little frames 
or you can add this kind of block first to add your text so you can add this on the center change the color expand it and fit it over here then you can go on to your text section add your heading and you can say lookbook and you're just going to change the font into the font that you used previously and then you're going to change the color of your font as well resize it and place it in this box make sure everything is centered and right and after that you can just place your images down below so this is how easy it is to create a beautiful newsletter using canva i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video